Yeah, give me a minute to push the button. Oh, push the button. I got to push the damn button first. Oh, you better be quicker than that. <laughs> I got a dollar. It's funny because when I put it up, we were like a half a minute behind. Isn't that could, crazy? I could hear you say, you need to push the damn button then. <laughs> so the button's been pushed. The button has been pushed. Okay, so where is everyone? Is it just me and you today? It's me and you until Ocho gets here in a little bit. He said he's going to be... Uh, a little late, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll let him in when he comes in. But that's what makes everything great because you never know who the hell's going to show up. Nope, that's why it's called hanging out of the box like this. Because we're all hanging oh, out, God. going, "What the fuck?" Hanging out. On? So Who's what do we got? So everybody that's watching this on YouTube, we do this on Facebook Live. So everybody, if you hear me talk to somebody on Facebook Live then or uh, talk to somebody then that means i'm talking to somebody on facebook live sean g just call me from the uk i will be talking to him after this is over with heath ward lives here in my hometown good to see you heath good to see you buddy so uh we'll get into a little bit of stuff ocho will be here in a minute and crystal everybody pray for crystal because she had some stuff yeah. happen. so pray for her that she gets that took care of i'm not going to say what because it's not my place to say but Everybody think for her, okay? And there could be people show up in between and all that kind of stuff. So I want to I kind of want to start out different tonight. I wanna I wanna give a reading. That's what I was gonna say. Could you give me a reading? Because I haven't got a reading from you in forever. And I think since it's just me and you at the moment, let's yeah. do a reading. Give me a reading. It's, it's hard doing it with multiple people because you pull up the energy. But let me let me do a basic little real quick. You know, I've decided if I come back and I'm reincarnated, I want to come back as a bra. <laughs> I want to come back as a big boulder holder, okay? I have figured this out. Okay. So you have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Staffs, I, mean, I should say. I'm using the Miss Cleo deck. And that usually represents money coming in. But right now you feel that as though the money coming in is a little bit upside down, but it should be right side up within the next two to three weeks. That is awesome because I need that. Uh, I need that money. Money, money, yeah. money. But you have to just make sure that when you receive the money, that the money is going to be used in the proper way. And, and then it'll, it'll, it'll keep multiplying. But if you use it frivolously, you'll be feeling as though you're running away from from your money. You want to run run towards it. Does that make sense? No greed. Yes, it does. Sean G, I agree with you, Matthew. I didn't say I want to be Megan Trainer. I said I want to be your next ex husband. So get it right, buddy. <laughs> All right. Those are three. And you know what? Let me shuffle these again. You know, I, I give Steve Coulter shit the other night because I interviewed him. We all can watch it on YouTube or Facebook. Mm -hmm. He said that he is in the new Jennifer Lopez movie that was made in Costa Rica, and he plays her father-in-law in the movie. So what? my buddy Steve from The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, The Priest is her father-in-law in the new Jennifer Lopez movie coming out. Ooh, that was a lot to say. That was a lot to say. That I, was a lot I to hope say. that I come back as Jennifer. Well, Jennifer Lopez will probably be old by then, but if Jennifer Lopez looked the way she does now, I wish that I was one of her bras that she used on In Living Color, okay? You know, when yeah. she was a fly girl. I think a fly she girl. to be coming back being in that bra to be a fly girl again. I think that's what she would want. <laughs> I think y'all have both the same wish. She is not a fly girl anymore. She's a she is not a fly woman. girl. She is a full grown woman and then some. I'm like, I hope I'm 50 something and look like that. Just woof. Well, the rate you're going, I think you'll look like that when you turn 50. 
Oh, I hope so. Never know. You never know. You don't. But I mean, hey, them kid, the them kids you got, those youngins, the young ones, maybe mm -hmm. the older ones too. They either keep you old or young. So, you well, know, go there's a scientific play. there's a scientific study that says there's a hormone that is released in women for them to keep younger. So the more children the the more children you have, the younger you are because it, it, it's like this pheromone or hormone that is released to allow you to keep up with your kids. Well, I can't, I had my granddaughters this week for two days and I sure so couldn't keep up with them. <laughs> <laughs> no, your children, not your grandchildren. Well, I gotta keep up with my grandchildren too. God. Oh, and I, I'm gonna have the whole family vacation over at my mother-in-law's house this weekend so this is the first time that all of us are together in the same room i'm going to do a lot of footage because i know this is going to be between, this is gonna be between me and you and you know there's a couple people here do you like your mother-in-law no <laughs> don't ask me <laughs> oh sprinkle it sprinkle it <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> I deal with her in small doses and I've never been with my daughter-in-law with my mother-in-law in the same room with my brother-in-law. Lord Jesus, that's a lot of laws. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of laws that are going to be broken. Well, and I'll have, to, I'll have no very let's break, down, let's break down the word mother-in-law and father-in-law, okay? Mm -hmm. You have father and you have law. Mm -hmm. They really believe that it's their law. Yeah, they do. You know, it's not, it's bad enough you got a mother and father tell you what to do, but then you get your mother and father in law involved, and their law is what is everything. Like the holy freaking grail, man. The holy freaking grail. What are you doing just... today, man? Are you, are you like on your way back from Dallas or Mexico or where? No, nah, man. Um, I had to um, do some errands that were really important, and I lost track of time. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> are you Are you still preaching it up? Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm doing that. Um, man, I was. Um, last week I was in uh, San Antonio, Texas. I was. I filmed on three projects. So, one of them wow. I directed. One of them I directed and acted in, and then two others I acted in. Um. I'm headed back next week for uh, like two weeks to film um, the more in the San Antonio project and then in Odessa, Texas as well. Odessa, that's where I grew up. That means you're going to be with my buddy and my friend Billy Pond, right? Yeah, in Odessa, yes. If you all don't know who Billy Pond is, you need to check out his movie Circus of the Dead. If you don't like clowns, you really fucking won't like clowns after you watch that I movie. I don't like clowns. Have you watched Gocho? What was that? Have you watched Circus of the Dead by Billy Pond? Yes, I have. Crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. And this one we're doing um, is going to be even crazier. So uh, it's really gory. It's really um, it's sci fi slash horror. So Billy's great, man. Billy, Billy, if you watch this, man, I'm so glad you're doing well. And. Just keep on doing what you're doing. If you ever watch Where's this, Crystal? Billy. Crystal had an emergency. Wow. We'll yeah. talk to you, tell you off camera, but I'm not going to tell you right now because there's a lot of mm -hmm. people watching. Uh, Sean G, what do you mean you can't join? I don't understand, man. If you want to join, just let me know, and I will uh, let you come in and talk to us, Sean. As, as Kiki knows, Sean just called me from the UK before we came on and was – telling me how he loved my interview with Steve Couture, who is the priest in The Devil Made Me Do It. Number one movie in America. Number one movie on HBO Max. All that good stuff. He's the priest. And a good friend. So, we were doing a reading. Are you done with this reading? Well, that was just a general. I just did three cards or whatever. It was just basic just you know, I feel that a lot of people's money is coming in. And, you were right and, about me, because that's exactly how I feel. Me and Hope yeah. were just talking about it today. Mm-hmm. You, you, you have to just woo-saw 
Wusa, think about it. Don't be fast when you spend your money. Just like, mm, it's a pain. You want to be like a duck. Um, so I guess we'll do this. Uh, I, I've got, I, we, you know, when we talk, we talk about some crazy shit sometimes. And I want to talk about this, okay? I heard this today on the news when I was coming home that Biden, Biden has, has um, said, hold on a second. People just keep on calling me. Okay, I can't talk right now, okay? Can't talk. Um, Biden has said that there's a new strand of the uh, virus that's deadly, and it's getting teenagers and kids. What? Yeah, I want to know what your all's opinion of this is, being a person who voted for Biden and a person who voted for somebody different. I want you all to give me your opinion of these, this thing, that Biden said that it's targeting kids. And I want to start with you, Ocho. What do you think about that? Well, remember, I'm not. I w- you said I voted for Biden. I did not. Now, I did say that. I said you voted for the other person. All right. Um, it's just funny, man. Um, I feel like the government wants to keep us scared. They want to keep us scared. They love the control now that they that they have over us. Um. It's just funny how now there's a strain that affects teens and kids. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know, brother. Um, Let me me, me repeat. I didn't say that you voted for Biden. I said you voted for the other person. Yes, he said I voted for I voted for the the other person, too. It was that horrible Kiki over there. Yeah. (laughs) She's, she's She's one of them Democrats that are going... Oh my God! What the hell did I do? I need to get off this damn train real quick. Like, <laughs> uh, anyway, what do, what do, oh, what oh do you God. want to say? What do you think about this? That it says that it's targeting younger kids and teenagers. This, it, I mean, you know, I agree. I think that I feel that there are so many different diseases that kill us every day that we don't even think about. Um, and this is just one of them, and it's sad to say it, but you have to live. God doesn't want us to live in fear. He nope. doesn't. Nope. But a lot of people are under this, this simulation that, that they have to listen to everything that is on the news, and, and, but it's like a mind control. They don't allow themselves to hear the information see how it affects their life and, and come to a consensus of how it, how it, 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 it is in their brain. And, and it's just crazy how they're allowing them to be controlled. So Kiki, uh huh, are you ready to jump off the crazy chain with Ozzy Osbourne? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just wanted someone to look at different. I know that politics are as per usual. They're still doing the same old crap that they were doing while the other person was in office. Yeah. Um, it's just, it, the roles has just changed another name. I wish people would realize that politicians are not for you. No. You know what I mean? Pe- um, the people that are in power are for the rich, are for the entitled. And um, this whole... They want us to be fighting amongst each other. That's mm-hmm. what it is. Because no one cares about the peons on the bottom. No nope. one cares the worker about bees. the worker nope. ants. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And 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 why not cause bickering and bickering and division amongst the the the, the worker ants because it's easier now to control them. If they're because not it, united, and it's easier to, to, to feed off of that dysfunction. If that they're dysfunction. Not united, it's easier to control. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's all bullshit. I'll just call it bullshit. <laughs> because I am not ever going to, I'm never, ever, ever, and you all can say, say you've heard it here a million times, I will never cave in and take his immunity shot. I will not do it. I will not do it. My family will not do it. 
I, I don't care if it's the mark of the devil, then that means I, I'll be gone. I won't be here anymore because I will not take it. I don't care how much money you give me. I don't care how much you're going to do for me. I will not do it. I'm just not. And I, as I said before, saw a woman put a magnet on her arm, on both her arms, and she was magnetized. You cannot tell me that she was not magnetized when I saw her. I got, see, eye. now you got, you got me wanting to go to Michael's, the craft store, who are, we are not sponsored by, by the way, but just get <laughs> one, you know, and, and put them on both sides because I got them in two different arms. She did too. She did too. What kind of magnet did she use? Like a refrigerator magnet? No, she like was in a store. She was in a, uh, we were in a uh, woman's clothing store and it's a magnet she had on her, on her thing, on her tag. And she just uh -huh. took a magnet and put it on her and it stuck there. Wow. And then another lady who got, uh, got one, she did the same thing, but hers wasn't magnetized, but the other one was. You've been chipped, <laughs> Kiki. <sighs> they, can, they can hear everything you're doing now. <laughs> hey, there's people that believe. Hey, look, there, you there's know, people I'm, that I'm believe. Like this. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a catch twenty two because I had to work, so it it was one of those things that it's like, do I not go out and work? Because my profession, I had to get it, so it was just like, ugh. But do you I know that? It. Do you know that uh, at the end of the day, it really ain't going to matter the hell of beans before it's over with? Because if we want to do anything in the United States, we're going to have to get this immunity shot. If we want to travel, if we, you know, they're already talking about, you know, Steve, when I was in interviewing him on Wednesday, he said he had to stay two weeks in a hotel in Canada before he could even go to the set because they make you quarantine for two weeks when you come in from the United States. Why are we not quarantining people? that come into the United States. Why are we not quarantining people who go other places? If it's that bad, why? And the, you know, I heard another statistic too. I don't know if you all heard this or not, but the first check that we were given, mm -hmm. you know, the first $1,400, $1,200 check we were given, there are still over $20 million in checks that were not cashed. Huh? Over 20, were they not sent out or they did not cash them? $20 million in checks were not cashed or sent back because people didn't take them. Wow. What do you think about that? I would not put my pearls before swine in that one because green is not <laughs> it's currency. $20 million in checks or more. I can't remember the exact maybe, number. Maybe maybe they We're just don't cash. need it like I do. I don't know because I needed mine. Whether I whether I didn't like the president or not, I'm in the same respect of what you say. When you say, you know, what happened to when we were patriotic in a sense of we respected who was in order and you just wait until their term is over and, you know, may the best man win. But, but I don't know about that yeah, but one. It, but it's different now because, listen, I know Democrats were thinking Kamala would be more for a part of the whole Biden thing. And she hasn't done the first thing to be a part of the Biden thing, if you ask me. She has not been around for hardly anything. And now Biden is sending her to all the southern states to give them incentives to take the immunity shot. Kamala Harris, right. our vice president, our vice president told about. she told she told immigrants in a press conference don't come because you won't basically get asylum. I heard her say that. So it's just like, you know, this is something like when when you look at the person that you voted for and it's like, man, you were worse than the person that I was with. At least it was all kicks and giggles. <laughs> <laughs> At least, this you one, can, like, at least at you least it's, at least it's funny when you could kick Donald Trump around. When you right. kick, when you kick him around, Biden around, it's just pathetic because the guy's pathetic anyway. He can't read a simple thing that they have enough teleprompter. I mean, he forgets what he's saying. And it's like if I was vice president, I would step in and go, Hey, we need to do something about this. Our country's going to hell in a handbag. 
okay, it's cool. You're giving us money. You're giving all these family members. They got kids money. All this shit's great. Okay. Uh, the world's going back to normal. People are spending money. If we had Trump, it'd still be the same way. There's still so we be money did get it under Trump. Trump. We did get money under Trump. I know. You know? That's what I'm saying. It's so, still but money. It's just, the same, at just different suit. It's the same shit, different suit. It is. What do you think, Ocho? You're sitting there being quiet, man. You're never quiet. I was listening to you guys. Um, man, uh, Biden, I heard, um, called President Putin uh, President Trump. <laughs> uh, he, he messed up and called him President Trump. Uh, yes. Yes, the I guy, did. Hear that. The guy is useless without a teleprompter. Um, he still hasn't had a regular press conference. Um, so, and he's been in office for how long already? He's had those little short ones, but not the long ones like President Trump used to give, because the guy can't answer questions without a teleprompter. Well, he's got that. He's got the young girl that's his like press secretary that does something every day. Yeah, he's a puppet. He's basically a puppet. Um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, man. I am, I'm an American citizen, so, so I am going to, um, the president that was elected in, I have to, I have to be patriotic and say that's my president for the next four right. three years. I ain't going to be, um, a cray baby like all the, the Democrats were were when Trump was president saying that's not my president. If that's not your president the get out of the United States. Um, Biden is my president but I will say he um, he looks weak to other countries. Uh, North Korean um, North Korean leader um, Kim uh, like mocks Kim him. Jong-un. He um, is challenging him. He's challenging him. Um, the <laughs> Russian president is challenging him. They They think the United States is weak now. But, and we uh, are, and we are. I mean, have we ever, have we ever literally had a president other than him that we were weak? I mean, no. even no. even, Not Obama, that I even, Not that even, I even Obama wasn't weak. I mean, Obama had a cabinet behind him that was unstoppable. You know, even if he didn't like George Bush Jr., he still had a he had a backbone. I mean. There's not a president you can think of in our generation that is as weak as Biden. And all the Democrats did is make it where a Republican will probably win in the next election. Right. We're the we're the laughing stock of the world right now. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Everyone else is living vicariously and watching us as a glitch in the system because they're they're doing the things that they do on a, a, a everyday basis. We're still sit here stuck on stupid. Sean G said Biden is weak and the world knows it. And he said yes to the what you said about that the world thinks we're the laughing stock. There used to be a time when people looked at America as the greatest place in the world, and I want to go there. Now people are going, I want to get the hell out of there. How in the hell can I sign up to go somewhere else? You know because. It's it's bad. Um, I mean, the internet broke it's that. Bad. You know, and, you know the uh, me and Sean have talked several times. You know, Sean and me have talked several times, and you say, you know, we think of America and the UK as our brothers and sisters, and we're worried for you. You know, I mean, it's bad. I mean, we yeah, we might get all this money, you know, all these people are like, oh, we don't want a a government like that, but if you get food stamps, you get free medical care. You get welfare, you get whatever. That's government helping you do no matter what to that system. And it's it's crazy. It's crazy. It's like, you know, I mean, think of think of it this way. How many people, if it went for the government, would have starved to death or lost their houses if it went for the government last year? Darn tootin'. I mean, no, we, would, we would have lost our we lost everything. Our families would have been dead. Our families would not have been. You would have lost a million people instead of six hundred thousand people, or a million and a half, because we didn't have no we way to We were right down on the poverty line. <laughs> yeah, we were. You know, you know, in the in the world history, in our world history as we know it, you know, maybe before us, we have never been equal to each other as much as we were last year. 
you okay. know, movie people, music people, any kind of people that had jobs that weren't working. And, you know, and some people got paid, you know, worked during the pandemic, but never got paid for it. Never got that hazardous pay like you talked about. You know, in the state of Kentucky, the governor said, oh, we'll give you that $600 a month. You won't have to pay it back. Guess what? People are getting papers in the mail saying they have to pay it back now. Wow. Because they were making more on unemployment than they were working at McDonald's. Mm. You know, so where's that, where's that leave you? You know, and, you know, they say the rich keep getting richer and the poor get poorer. But last year, the rich were getting poorer, too. I don't care. It was, it was bad. And, you know, now everybody's lost their damn mind. Did you all hear about the couple and their daughter that they found up north decapitated? And they still haven't found their their remains of their head yet? They what? Think they, have, they, think it, they, they think that something is going on, that they took, they killed them, and then he took their heads. Who? It's somewhere Ooh. up north. It's on the news. It was in the, on Yahoo this morning. I don't read Yahoo news. It was crazy. I don't read no news. It's, it, it's just a crazy... I mean, I, I think the world has always been like this. It's just that we have the world at our fingertips in a, a eon of a second, a blink of an eye. We can see so much information to where the world can, like make you go crazy if you keep watching that stuff. Let me ask you a question. I talked to somebody today about this. This is off the subject, but mm -hmm. I want to ask you a question. You're in, you're you're a psychic medium, Kiki, okay? We, you okay. know, we established that. You know, Ocho, you, you believe all kinds of different things, even though you're Christian. I got a question for you all. What if, now hear me on what I'm saying, what if we are the ones who are passed away and the other people that we hear are the actual people that are alive. Damn. No, seriously. That's seriously. Deep. That's fucking deep. Because <laughs> listen, listen, we've all been there, well, okay? When we've heard right. people talk or we've heard people and they weren't there. What if we are the experiment and there's actually those people are investigating our lives? Have you ever thought about that? I think I know about it. Christian. I know you're a Christian and you believe in heaven and hell. But would that be too far of a stretch that we live in parallel universes? Like, you know, I've been watching, I've been watching uh, Loki. I don't know if you've oh, yeah. watched Loki yet. I watched not. it. Yeah. But there's mm -hmm. parallel universes. They catch Loki to be able to catch the imposter Lokis and the different parallels of the universe. What if we're like that? What if we're different parallels of the universe? I think that sci-fi always imitates life, imitating art kind of thing. Um, I think that's probably why there are a lot of people that are clairvoyant, clear audio, and can read tarot cards and stuff. What do you think, Just knowing Ocho? how to tap into it. You're quiet, man. I don't like you being quiet, man. You're like... <laughs> I'm just tired. I'm just tired. Like, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm just tired. Um, I mean, that's a, it's a pretty good, um, you never know, man. You just never know. Now the government's coming out. They're going to, um, announce, um, uh, very soon aliens exist. Um, so you know what I mean? Um, you just never know. Now it's hard to say what's real and what's not. I am a Christian. I do believe in heaven and hell. I do believe in, um, I don't believe really in um, reincarnation and stuff like that, but um, I don't know. Parallel universes, um, we do get deja vu a lot, you know. Uh, we get deja vu. Uh, uh, maybe uh, that's us. Maybe that's us that we've already experienced it in a, in another parallel universe. Who knows? I already said I want to come back as a bra if I get reincarnated. <laughs> Specifically, which bra? Uh, a bra <laughs> on a a very attractive woman. But anyway, you know, a double D, right? Yeah, a double D. double, triple. It don't matter. I'm not picky. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, I've always I've always said this. If I was ever reincarnated, I'd want to be a table, a table that would 
piece passed down from generation to generation because you'd always have somebody that you could listen to and hear because everything about a family is around a table or it used to be. So, you know, a table passes down to the next generation, the next generation. Well, that's not true anymore. I would, I would love like, to be a table just to be able to. That's not true anymore because now um, families don't spend family time together. That's true. I got I got my teenage kids who, who spend 90, 95% of their time in the room on video games. But how do you change that? I mean, how do you change? I mean, I've tried putting them in sports. I've tried everything, man. It, it's. It's just that this generation is different, man, than ours. Man, my dad, my dad, or my mother, stepmother's father had a saying, to be seen, not heard. Right. And that means that you go out and play in Odessa, Texas for 10 hours a day outside in the hot-ass sun, and you come and eat and go to bed. You know? <laughs> you weren't supposed to be inside. You weren't supposed to be doing things inside. You're supposed to be like, chasing tumbleweeds and horny toad you know that's oh, how i grew I was, up <laughs> when i was young you didn't come in until the street lights came on um, huh. <laughs> yeah. everyone rode everyone rode their bikes skateboards uh roller skates you know what i mean we um we did sports we played um baseball in the street football in the street um we were all there was there was hardly there, you had the one fat kid in your class when you were in school. There was the one fat kid, and um, and but now, it's like um, classes now are full of obese kids. Um, oh yeah. Because they don't exercise anymore. They don't do sports anymore. They don't do nothing anymore. And it's and it's sad because um, they're also antisocial. Yeah, but the flip, flip side of that is Obama's wife took all the good food out of the cafeterias at school, so all the food went in the trash. So then the kids are hungry when they get home, and they eat everything they can find in the house. You know, it happened. I have a, you have you have kids that are in school, all of you. You know, that I have- sack, what set it, sack lunch they give them. I'm glad that I live in an agricultural, you know, and it's mostly the district that takes care of that. But um, sometimes when they get their sack lunch, it's nothing but carbs. It's horrible. The food they eat now, man, it ain't like we ate pizza back when we were kids. And, you know, that was a treat you, every Friday. Ate, and you always wanted well, the that thing is, talk it's become a peanut butter bar, you know? It was amazing. But it's become a society that's fast now. Everything has to be fast, fast, fast. Um, there's no family dinners anymore. Um, mothers do, don't cook at home anymore. Fathers don't cook at home. It's all fast food, it's all going out. Um, because we live in a society now where mothers and fathers both have to work. You have to have two incomes in mm -hmm. order to, um, to sustain a family. Um, yep. so there's no time, there's no time for anything anymore. Um, Ocho, Sean G said he wants you to give him a shout out. Who? Sean G. Uh, what's up, Sean G? This is Ocho. You've been ultraized. There you go. <laughs> and he's, and, and he, if you want merchandise, he's got merchandise too, you all. Or he used to. I don't know if he does anymore. He used to have an Ocho Team shirt or something. That yeah, Team time. Ocho. I still do that stuff. I'm actually starting tours again for um, my new movie, Strange Friends. So um, merchandise will be available again. I'll let, you, I'll let everyone know on my, um, on my websites, on my social media. And uh, Kiki, she reads cards and talks to dead people, like like you in know, uh, every day. You know, the other you, you know <laughs> I, I was thinking about this the other day. You know, I got millions of movies. You all know I collect movies, and one movie I don't have is The Sixth Sense. You know why? Because somebody why? ruined it for me before I got to see it. Um. Yeah, M Night Shyamalan is kind of. You know, M. M. Night Shyamalan, ding dong. Mike, <laughs> what if me and you are dead and Kiki's contacting us right now? It's oh, what about da, da, da. oh my gosh, don't say do, that. Do, do. What about oh what, goodness, what, if the movies, what if the movies we watch are actually reality? Yeah, what yeah. if Kiki, I think that Kiki's in, Kiki's in a coma right now? 
and she's mm-hmm. dreaming about us and she wakes up and we're, we've been dead for years. Yep, that's crazy. Well, Kiki, if you wake up, bring me a trainer in my life for just a minute, okay? <laughs> just a minute. I mean, bring her in my life for just a minute. Megan Trainer, that's all I ask. One minute. Just, you know. You know, have her you come might... walk on my door and go, hey, Mike, what's up? And then walk Maybe away. I'm in hell. And I'm stuck with Mike and you for the rest of eternity. <laughs> hey, that's the truth. Do, do, do. At do, least do, hopefully, do. at least hopefully you did. Hopefully Satan don't put a pineapple up our ass, okay? Oh, my gosh. Wouldn't you that get, hurt? Do you all get that? Do you all remember that or not? Yes, little Nikki. <laughs> little Nikki. <laughs> uh, I asked her before we came on. I said, um, I was talking about Tutti Frutti. Do you remember Tutti Frutti, what it's from? Was that the Tutti Frutti? Wasn't that gum? Yeah, but there's an ice cream and there's a scene in the movie. Oh, uh, Tutti like, Frutti, Mother F and Tutti Frutti from uh, Three from Hell. Uh, is it Three from Hell? Or is it three from Hell, Devil's Rejects. Yeah, yeah. I was That's like, above my mental pay grade. I got, did you ever get to meet Sid Haig? Um, no, but my partner, um, Gary Lee Vincent, he um, he's really he was really good friends with him. I got to meet Sid, man. Sid was an amazing guy. That's he what was he so said. Cool. He, he said he was a nice guy. And Bill Mosley is too. I really wish I would have gotten to meet Sid, Sid Haig. He was one of my favorite actors. You know, you know. I want to tell you all this. I haven't told anybody yet. I got uh, credentials for Lexington Comic Con. And for Scarefest, I just found out. So I'm excited about that. That's and, cool, man. Uh, my, my buddy Tony Todd's going to be there. So I'm going to hang out with Tony Todd. So um, you all know Tony Todd's going to be big again because Candy Man's coming out. Yeah, and I heard that. There's going to be a Man different... In the new Candy Man movie. Candy. Well, there's going to be two Candy Men. There's going to be two Candy Men, him and a, and a new one. Yep. He's and a new candy. one? He's going to be Candy Man in it. He's wow. got a protege now. Yeah. I remember when I was younger, Candyman used, candy used to freak me out when mm-hmm. I was younger. Does anything freak you out now? Really? Nothing. You're not afraid of nothing? No, just Kiki. Just Kiki? <laughs> I just know, I know Kiki can, can kick some butts. Uh. Are, you, are you worried that she's conjuring us up? That's what I'm afraid of. I'm well, afraid of all I know she's... is that I just picked up some cards, and it says the Emperor, the Page of Staff, and the Four of Cups. It's either someone's having problems with their teenager or their father, but it's like just trying to break away this connection. I got five teenagers. So oh, that, that one right there, Kiki, was um, too easy for you. That was all about him, not me, because... My teenagers are grown up, pretty much, so. Oh. And they live man. here, so, I mean, you know, except for Dakota, he's in Missouri right now, but, you know, uh, it's uh, him there now. I'd, I'd hate to be him at this part of life. All the teenagers he's got to deal with on a daily basis. Oh, my Lord Jesus. That's, I can why, handle it. that's why I travel a lot. <laughs> Do you think you can ever get into acting, Ocho? No, nah, they're not into that. Do you like your movies at all? Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll sit there and they'll watch my movies, and um, they um, tell all their friends their dad's a movie star. So they use <laughs> they use me they use my name when they, when when it's going to gain them points. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm I'm coming to the Whiskey a Go Go tonight, and my dad's Michael Ocho. Uh, you might know him, and they like no. Oh yeah, no, they'll do that. They'll be <laughs> like, he's been in this movie and this movie, you know. Your dad, what does he do? And I'm like, oh, that's not cool, guys. Dropping names already at teenage okay. years, man. Your 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 kids oh, are getting oh, street cred because their dads in movies on. Right, right. Uh, on the. Uh, well, what do right? you guys What do you guys have planned for this weekend? Oh, uh, I got a lot planned for Juneteenth. Woo-hoo-hoo. She's got. She, let her tell you. Let her tell you, and then you tell me if she's gonna have a good time. I'm having a family get together. So we're going to have our family for the first time. And we're going to, you know, shoot the shit. All kinds of good food. All kinds of good food. And just, you know, 
have a great Saturday and then work on Sunday. So what are you doing for Father's Day for Martin? We're doing it all on Juneteenth on Saturday because we both work. <laughs> we have to mesh it all in. Like, hi, right. bye, I'm going to see you. Right. Do, you got, do you got a special uh, sermon ready for Sunday for Father's Day? No, I'm doing Hunger Games. Whichever kid gets me the best gift gets to live. <laughs> All others. They're done. They're gone. They're done. Bye. It looked like it looked like it looked like aliens came and just ripped your whole uh, spinal cord out or what was that? Predators? Yeah. Predator, oh. Predators did that, remember? I thought you were gonna say Mortal Combat. But it's called Wait, population college. regulation. Hey, speaking of Mortal Kombat, that new movie is pretty good. Did you watch it? I liked it. I liked it. Uh, it I liked mean, it. Know. I like. I wish um, Scorpion would have been in it more. I think they had to tell the story, though. Yeah, the, the story. Do you think they're gonna have around. another one? Yeah, they, well, yeah, they, they teased um, Johnny Cage. You know, oh, okay. you know who wants to be Johnny Cage? Have you heard Ocho? Van Dam. The Miz. The Miz, I heard on Van Dam too. They might get bring him out of retirement to play him. He be, mm. He's going to be too damn old to be Johnny Cage, ain't he? I guess. Unless they make an older version and a younger version of Johnny Cage. Who knows? They. I, I heard the Miz too. I heard also um, Ryan Reynolds from really? um, from Deadpool. Really? Really? I don't yeah, know. Who knows? Who knows? I like the movie. I thought the movie was great. I thought it was great. I thought the movie was great. I mean, it always has been a beat movie. Deadpool, I hate this first one. I love the second one. You know, no, I'm talking about Mortal Kombat. I, I, the thing is, is that it's always been a B movie, right? So, it, I mean, I hate what they did with Sonya, but. Uh, yeah, that was dumb. Taller. She's supposed to be and taller. I, and I like Kano. I wish they would have kept him around for part two. Mm -hmm. You never know. That's a world. That's a parallel world. Who knows? He might come back. He was. I As thought he, he made the movie. He was funny. He's the one who had the hat, right? He was the no. He was the one with the eye. The the the, the um. Australian. The one that, yeah, the one that was um the one that had all the jokes. Oh, the one that was trying to whoop the girl's ass in the trailer yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm not a big Mortal Kombat fan. Okay. Uh, I mean, I like the movie. I ain't even seen The Devil Made Me Do It yet. I ain't even watched that. You know, I mean, and my buddy Steve's in it. He plays the priest, but I still ain't watched it. But I don't feel it's fair to watch it until I watch the second one because I ain't watched the second one. You know, so well, so I don't I don't even know. I mean, you know, it's really it's really weird, Ocho. When I was talking to Steve, you know, he's like telling me that he went to Canada to do some acting and he had to quarantine for two weeks. But then when he went to uh, Costa Rica to be in the new Jennifer Lopez movie, he plays her father-in-law in it. They were all in a close-knit community type thing, you know, all of them made together. So for Jennifer, she had her own big house with her maids and her kids and all that. You know, she come and she produced it and directed it and all that. So they got to see her then. But she really wasn't a part of the core people that were inside this, like, Finstein community, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it is it like that sometimes when you do movies? Is it is it like your like well, when community? I, when I do big movies, um, they isolate all the big stars. I, I I usually get a trailer. I'm stuck in a trailer until they call me. They knock on my door and they they take me to set. You know, so we are isolated until we until we're um, called to set to act. Do you not ever get to? Do you never get to fraternize with any of the stars or anything? So I, I, I fraternize with the all the big stars get to fraternize together because we get to eat lunch together. Um, we're not the extras, the, the ones that play extras. Um, they're not allowed to talk to us. So they are you get, they could get fired so, for talking to us. So are you considered a bigger star now? Are you on that yeah. level? Yeah. How, how was it to go from being that? smaller uh, uh it's because I'm, lead, I'm leads in movies and stuff i'm lead villains i'm lead 
Yeah, so but what I I'm get saying my own trailer, I get my own assistance. What I'm saying is, how was it going from being that person who was like on the outside to being that person that's on the inside and being able to get those perks now? How how was it to go from that? Um, I don't know, man. It just happened. It just um, I mean. I still do. I still do uh, low budget movies. I still do my own movies, you know. But um, I do SAG movies too, and I do I, the one in Arkansas was pretty big that I just did. Um, and I don't know. It, it feels cool, you know. To I me, mean? I have my own assistant. I have my own driver. I have my own my own trailer. You know. Was the catering is catering good? What's that? Is the catering good? Food's always good, man. <laughs> But I'm the type of guy who um, I'll come out of my trailer and I'll talk to I'll go talk to the extras and stuff because you know that that brightens their day and it it makes them it makes them um, happy that at least one of the big actors is out there talking to them and stuff. Who's one of the coolest people you've ever got to work with? Hmm. Um, Randy Hauser, the country western music star, is pretty cool. Oh, really? Um, John were, Snyder you, from Dukes of Hazard was pretty cool. Wait a minute, you work with Randy Hauser, the guy that is the brother-in-law. He's the brother-in-law of the guy from Rascal Flatts, right? Yeah. He does movies. Yeah. I don't um, know that. John Snyder from Dukes of Hazard is pretty cool. Um, who else? I I worked with a lot of big names, um, and I'm going blank right now. Um. Who else was? I'm trying to think of the coolest ones. Um, shoot, it's it's wild that you work with Snyder, man. I watch him all the time. Yeah, Dean, Dean Kane. Dean Kane's pretty cool. Um, who else? Man, I worked with so many big stars, and I can't think of any cool ones right now. Hmm. What? Well, can you give us an update on what's coming out? Um. I have Righteous 12 coming out. It's a Western. It's coming out to theaters October 9th. I'm the main villain in that one. All my tattoos are covered with makeup. So October 9th, Righteous 12 will be in all theaters. Um, I got Strange Friends, which was just released. Um, It's on Amazon. It's on a few other channels. But if you go to burningbulbpublishing.com, you can see all the movies we have out from our own studio. Um, Godsend that has been out for a few months. Um, I just directed a movie called a uh, horror movie, horror slash comedy called Faded Memories, and that should be released in the next month. Um, I'm doing Tapeworms with uh, Tapeworm Z with Billy Pond. Um, I have a science fiction movie I'm filming in San Antonio called The Tag Conspiracy, um, kind of like steampunk future. And, are you um, are you going to be doing any uh, horror conventions this year at all? Uh, I I think in August I have a horror convention, um, or in July, the end of July, somewhere around there. I got a horror convention we're doing where we have our our horror movie Midnight in it. Um, so I'll be signing I'll be signing posters, taking pictures. I'll be in costume as the villain, of course, um, and. I'm just working. I'm work. I'm happy to be working back to back to back. So and for people um, to know what Midnight is, that it was wrote <coughs> and directed by the guy from Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, John Russo. John Russo. It's He's the remake the of the nineteen. It's the remake of the nineteen eighty two. I play the main villain, Abraham. Cool, cool. You got anything else going on? So for going to your anniversary or whatever it's called. Oh. You me? Saturday, Saturday. What's it called? You're going. You, it's going on. Juneteenth. Juneteenth is an Juneteenth. official holiday. Yeah. Juneteenth. I'm sorry. Juneteenth. Yes. Is there anything yes. else going on in your life except for Juneteenth? Oh, I'm supposed to be starting on a website. Uh, uh, I forgot the name of it because I drew a blank. But um, you can call me on this number if you like to have a reading or whatever. But I have a website that I'm going to be starting with in the next like couple of weeks, like mid June. Cool. And I am doing absolutely nothing but what I still do to this day. So uh, that should be fun. Uh, 
I think me and Hope are going to do that big, uh, you all wouldn't know about it, but uh, they're doing a big yard sale from Michigan to Alabama. And it's 1st of August. I think me and Hope are going to do some of that in August. And of course, we're doing Scarefest and Lexington Comic Con. And uh, we're doing, you know, we're doing a lot of YouTube videos, doing uh, cooking and trying new things and things like that. So you can hey, you're excited that, that um, you're excited wrestling's going back on the road, right? Uh, I might just be in North Carolina for AEW Fight for the Fallen. I hope that I'll be in Charlotte. Tickets sold out real quick. Tickets are like five thousand dollars a piece. But I hope I, I hope I got an inside to be able to go to it. It's quite. I funny. wouldn't pay that, man. Yeah, I'm not paying that. But it's quite funny that WWE's got an event coming right after that, and they end up with a thousand tickets. But AEW puts the event on, and they sell out, and people want to charge a thousand or five thousand dollars a ticket. Uh, I did. I did just uh, book my uh, hotel for Dallas. I'll be in Dallas for the end of March and April for WrestleMania week. But I'm not going to WrestleMania probably. I'm going for all the other independent wrestling. So I'm going to go. I booked my hotel for that, and I think me and Hope are going to take a train. Oh. Let's go. Because uh, we can take a train. We get there in two days. We don't have to switch over in a bus. We go to Chicago, from Chicago to Dallas. And it's got a um, compartment where you can eat whenever you want. It's pretty cool. So I think we're going to do that, take an adventure and to go to Dallas. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're just looking for things to do that are fun. You know, we, you know, like everybody else, we've been stuck in a house for a year, and you know, yep. uh, you yep. know, we're, we're in the grocery store today, and hopes like, well, let's get this where we can put it on our video, and let's get this where we can, and we're looking for this, and we're looking for that, mm -hmm. and you know, there's new Mountain Dew that we're gonna try, and all, you know, all kinds of stuff. Plus, we're doing the food things again, so you know, we're just doing whatever we can, and you know, we celebrated our 17th anniversary last week. We've been oh, married wow. for seven years. 17 years thanks we just just celebrated that on the 12th and uh you know we're just we're just doing us you know i mean that's all you can do and you know try to make money you know ebay and wherever else you know um that's cool it's uh it's hard america's hard right now it's hard it's hard to it's hard to survive it's hard to you know i feel bad for a lot of people man that have no way to make money, they have no way to do anything that all they rely on is food stamps or welfare. So next yeah. weekend, next weekend I'll be in Texas. We'll see if I can get Billy Pond on the show. That'd be great. I'd love to talk to Billy. It's been a long time since I talked to him. He's a great guy. And your job until next week, Kiki, is to find oh. Circus of the Dead and watch it. <sighs> Oh, it's on Amazon Prime. Clowns. It's on I Amazon Prime. Circus it of the Dead. It. It's not as bad as it. Okay. But it does have creepy clowns in it. Like clowns from outer space? You no, know, like <laughs> clowns from <laughs> the depths of hell that have dragged your soul to the... Oh, my gosh. All right, I'll watch it tonight. To the I'll Neverland. Tonight. You'll, be like, you'll be like, I hate you clowns. I hate you. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta, I gotta go because I'm gonna start the grill up, and get right. dinner on the, and get dinner on the grill. I'm always happy to be on the show, and next week I'll be in Texas. I'll, I'll try and get Billy on the show. Sounds good. The Talk stars to you soon. at okay. night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. Hey, <laughs> and if I'm dead, just let me rest, Kiki. Stop, stop conjuring me up. <laughs> You gotta let us rest. Bye. 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 Me, uh, and, me and Mike are tired. Come on. <laughs> you know what? I feel bad for the people. If I am dead, it took me to the grave. It right. took like it took like probably fifty men to take me. You know. Or did they? See you guys. Bye. See you. So, Kinky. So, um, are you gonna do any video or anything? Are we gonna get any of those uh, uh, Cookie Monster videos like I told you about? <laughs> no. <laughs> no cookie monster video. You should like just put up a video camera 
you know, like right here, you put a video like right here, a little pin dot one, and just record the whole weekend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, but I am gonna record some videos of the fam though. That this is this is gonna be I'm gonna make sure I have a full charge. A full charge. So I have like a lot of pictures because my um brother in law and sister in law have not seen the grandkids since they've been born. So there, you know, it's, it's exciting times. And then my my son's mother-in-law is coming too. So it's just a so, mess up. So is uh, your daughter going to be in too? She just left. She just left. She went back home, so she's not coming. But my, my oldest one, she has to work, so it's just going to be me and the fam bam until Martin comes off of work too. Is it's she... just a crazy is she is she playing basketball on TV yet? No, not yet. COVID kind of hurt everything for for stuff, you know. So we'll see. We I don't know what she wants to do though. She has two more years before she graduates. Oh, does she? Mm-hmm. I figured she'd already be famous by now. I know. We'll see. You're waiting for that time when she becomes a female Kobe Bryant, right? Oh, I am because I have I have a picture of her in the newspaper. Let me get it. Hold on, let me show. You. gonna kill me but I still have I didn't have the original paper but well, there she is in the paper huh mm-hmm well that's that's Kiki's uh, spawn there you all <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious well <sighs> I guess I'll let you go. I'm going to go cook a meal with Hope and put it on YouTube. And that's All what right. I'm going to do the rest of the night. It's been good talking to you. And good talking to you. We'll see you uh, next Friday. Yep. If, uh, everything's great and everybody's happy and all that good stuff. Mm hmm. Make sure you uh, make sure you dial a friend after this um, after this event. Okay. Okay. I'll see everybody on, on uh, Facebook maybe when I do my meal here in a little bit.